Welcome back, everyone, in Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalever, and right now, we're back in the struggle bus as American Union State. Even though, like I said at the end of the last video, this isn't where we left off last time. Apparently, the car is losing to both the CSAs and the Feds, but the WCC collapsed, and we're doing a few different focuses that I've already gotten and pretty much already clicked on, such as the ports of Texas. Our primary means of exporting goods overseas and producing ships is our handful of ports in South. Or in the South, with our tax imports being the most vulnerable of the bunch. Reinforcing them is an absolute if we're going to protect ourselves from invasion and build our shipping industry as well as sound truck propaganda. Many farmers live in rural areas and are difficult to reach for recruitment and propaganda, but there's an old campaign tactic in the South and Midwest that can serve us here. Sound trucks will blare through these areas and gather potential supporters by telling them of the urgency of our mission, which is good. So, yesterday I complained about the CSA, and I'm still going to complain about them because somehow they still get supplies over here. But whatever. Right? Just whatever. So my goal in this campaign is not to win the Civil War, it's just to kill off all the Reds. That's my goal right now. Kill every single Red in the game, because my goodness, they've killed off so many soldiers. Uh, we killed quite a few of them, but obviously not nearly enough. Uh, one for one, we killed about eh, twice as many as they killed of us, but... Uh, it just... No. But, we're back on the struggle bus regardless. So, we have six divisions of 40 combat with infantry. So I recommend we use more planes. Well, I'd love to use more planes, but we don't have the industry for it, really. I've already moved five factories from the artillery, which we have plenty of artillery. Actually, we cut that down. We need more guns for that, really. But trying to get planes is hopefully going to be okay, but we're going to probably use a lot more anti-air, really. Uh, I don't want to lower this too much. Planes, and go back to there. We need a lot more anti-air. But let's see, next focus. Uh, we have quite a few comms to go through. And I didn't go through all the comms in the last video because I was much more engrossed in playing this. So, All right, looks like we probably do the Air Force 7. A formation of an American Air Force, with the ongoing debate in the U.S. Army spanning for nearly two decades continues still. The Air Corps officers that defeated to our side, or defected to our side, have promised us great results if we separated the Air Branch from the Army. With Kingfish's blessings, the patriotic U.S. Air Force shall be formed and will have to decide its future plan, which is a very, very good thing. And I still don't understand how they can get supply. I really don't. Yeah, there's a lake here. Which, which lake is this? this? This is Lake Erie, if I remember correctly. Lake Michigan... Is this Huron? I can't remember which one which one of these eggs are. And we have red air, but they have no planes. And we have no planes. There's planes over here, but... Yeah. I don't know. Even if it's red air, does that mean anything? Like, with no one doing anything in the air? Our average air mission efficiency, 64%. Enemy detection, enemy detection. So, hmm... But every single red's gonna die here. I don't, I don't care what happens. I'm gonna smash the living hell out of these guys. Because these guys are annoying. And apparently they're focusing more on the car, which is fine with me, but... I'm gonna go... Let's see... Not attack over a river. Hmm. Probably right here. Because we can hold against the WCC. We can hold against the PSA. We can hold against... Uh, the car, mostly. It's a little bit a give and tank with the car. But against the reds... I mean, I'm not sure what to say about them. It's just... Just nuts. Just nuts. Cyniclus bombings. Stockpile. At least they're out of equipment for now. How's the car doing? They're out of equipment. They still have some artillery, though. The feds have... Not really sure what they have. Oh, hello. PSA and WCC and all them folk. Not enough. And you guys have... Oh, uh, can't really tell. Hey, they're by Disney. Look at that. Alright, another division. Good. Seriously, Cyniclus. Get out of here. I can't even, like, cut them down or anything. Oh, Glacian City. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, if they want to help out, that's good. Bust the hell out of these guys. And just move in. And you just go right there. Force it. I don't even care. Just kill every single one of them. They're not going to... I'm not going to tolerate just the Reds anymore. So, a couple comments. Someone recommends we should do Norton's PSA sometime. Or Lovecraft New England. Uh, actually, there's quite a bit of support for me to do, like, especially New England. Especially for a while. So, yeah, eventually... We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there, definitely. There we go. Let's do some of this stuff. That'd be good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm really. I really don't care about this front. I really don't, especially with everything that's going on with the PS, the CSA. So, Devers, what do you got for us? Panzer leader. Uh, well, um, he's more of a field marshal. This maybe we'll change him back to become the leader of a tank division eventually. So let's go with uh, cover, maybe. Yeah, uh, we don't have enough command power for that, anyways. Whatever. I'll send you over here to the right. You guys could use that. Uh, do you have another thing up here? Nope, not really. Uh, 
These guys do take a lot of command power. Formation of American Air Force. So do we want Parsons' plan? Or do we want Ponder a Forum plan? Uh, as much as I love air superiority attack, I never use strategic bombers or heavy fighters anymore, but I want to go with Parsons' plan. Edward Charles Parsons has called upon the American United States to adopt an approach to the Air Force that calls for it to be complementary with the other parts of the military, noting that they would mutually support one another more effectively than they if they worked alone. Which is very good. Very, very good. Let's do that, and it is 38 still, so we got to keep an eye on what we're doing. Tanks are looking okay, this stuff is okay. Land Doctrine is still going Grand Battle Plan for now. I will go Mass Assault later on. And we're using Tactical Bombers in this campaign, so we'll do that one. Still, they have no planes, and yet they still, we still have red air. How? Uh, I want them to th throw divisions over here, so we're not going to do anything about that. Keep going, keep going. Good. Hold. I'm kind of off in Eau Claire. You're not moving. Oh, actually, there you go. Nope. I don't care what happens. These guys have got to burn. Burn, burn, burn. Federalist bombings. Oh, that sucks. Oh, the Prince of Federation's gone. Goodbye, Prince of Federation. Come back someday. 70%. Alright, oh, the car is looking like it really sucks right now. At least the Reds are focusing on them, not instead of us. Jesus Christ. Oof. And I'm going to have you guys come down here, too. That's good. Send close bombings. Hey, orders for an arrowhead? Cool. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. That's very nice. Please crack down. We could do that. Let's save our peepee, -pee, though. Sometimes it's just good to save your peepee. -pee. Prepare defenses. And we'll probably finish off with the Grand Assault. And I don't want to go down this, this route too, too much more. So we'll see how the war goes on. Let's put it like that. Come on. Come on. And we got the coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Alright, let's, let's build up uh, some more military factories, shall we? 40%, 20, 40, 50 in Minnesota. That part of Minnesota. Oh, that's a row ahead. Huh. And this part, too. More military factories. Yep, I mean, car, not bad. PSA, not bad. WCC, really not too bad either. CSA. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, just keep throwing in more soldiers. Keep throwing them in. The second draft? What's their stockpile like? Eh, they can get some more artillery. Seriously? I'm not quitting this attack. You're going to force it and kill them off. I'm not going to waste time here with this type of insubordination. No way. Absolutely not. I don't care how many men have to die for this battle. Good. Kill every single one of these guys off. Every single one of them. We're not going to waste time here with these guys. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, military factories up. We can get a few more guns. We're going to make a few more planes. If someone did a suggest. Uh, I did say we were using... Eh, that's alright. Uh, we're tactical bombers. No war bombers. There we go. Nice. You can be the bottom bottom group here. Nope, you're going to help out. Everyone's going to help out and kill every single one of these guys off. Please, where? Do they actually have... They have... They, maybe we're just not knowledgeable enough for this. I'm pretty sure but planes don't almost... Not every army, but some of these armies have planes, but not all of them do. Hmm. Uh, what do you guys... Yep. Industry for planes, not very good. Parsons plan. Alright. Cass... Uh, oh, god dang it. Uh... Plus air support. You know what? Maybe we'll just use both. We are. We will be playing as America, so. Hmm. Let's get some more daily air XP. We could do that. Yeah, just might as well. Expand the Air Corps Tactical School. We're looking at that the American Army in the past relegated air officer training to the Deep South as we now possess access to the installations and officers from the Air Corps Tactical School in Maxwell Field, Alabama. However, in order to pass the school set up in Langley Field in Virginia, we're going to need to expand, our, expand on our installations. Good. Kill every single one of them. Like I said, the only thing I care about right now is killing the Reds. Screw everyone else. Screw the PSA. Screw the car. The Reds gotta die. I'm not gonna tolerate just ridiculous overpowered stuff. In which, I know they're not overpowered, but they're just too strong sometimes. I swear to God. They're... We're gonna cut them off. I don't care that's over River either. Really don't. 
Well, another comment. Let's see. So apparently, you remember the first episode with the Supreme Court issue? Well, that that issue specifically could have made Texas independent, which obviously wouldn't be a very good thing if we're trying to play as American Union State. So that's why we play as the was it Yellow Rose of Texas for the campaign, which is not too bad. Hey, look, we can actually hold against these guys. Whoa, go figure. Go flip and figure. Oh, I'm not going to call up emergency reserves. We'll be okay. Uh, let's see. We're good with more sports stuff. So. Hey, look at that. Not political power. Uh, anything here I really care about? Synthetic stuff, refineries, fighter research, for cost. That's not too bad. I think we, we might want to save some of this for later once we have America reunited. So. Don't know mobilization would be bad. Would not be bad, but that would kill our manpower. So maybe we'll just save our PP for now. As much as I love export focus. Eh, it's still not terrible. Still not too bad. Alright. You're going straight in. I know it's over river, which is god awful, but still. And somehow they have air superiority without any planes. Go figure. Kill every single one of them. We're gonna burn Chicago to the ground. As well as Detroit. And probably Lansing. Uh probably not Indianapolis, but maybe Cleveland? Sure, why not? And anything else here? Uh, oh, we can do that. I'm going to wait until we push actually on the real front for realsies. We can do that too. Thank you. And come on. They keep throwing more militia divisions in here. Come on. Come on. Force it. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to beat the CSA by the end of this episode. I don't care if the car collapses. I don't care if the feds collapse or the New England collapses. But we're going to beat them up. Fighter development. Let's do fighter development. American fighter projects were halted during the 20s due to lack of funding from the government, leading to a disadvantage in fighter development. We must have closed this cap by funding design contests among different companies, with the prize being obtained or being obtaining a very profitable production contract for the plane that may outperform our enemies, which is pretty good. Jack Schulman, huh? Let's see. That's looking a little better. Anti-air is not great. Come on, guys. Seriously. I know it's over river, and they say they have air superiority, but they really don't without any planes up here. So, what are we to do with crap like this? I'm just going to keep attacking. I don't care what happens. You're going to push, 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 push. Ah, volunteers. That's the only reason why we can't, probably can't beat them. Nope, you're not giving up yet. Nope. This is so stupid. PSA, totally fine for the most part. WCC, totally fine. The car, totally fine. Cyniclists, just just can't crack them. Just can't crack them. And I, and I know they have these abilities as well, but still. Go in. No, we are not done. We're going straight back in. I don't care what the hell happens. I know it's over river, but I don't care. I really don't care. This doesn't make any sense. Federalist bombings. Uh, emergency reserves. No, we're still pretty good. We are still pretty darn good. Fire development's nice. And we'll do bomber development. Bombers, although a terror to behold, will enable us to project our power overseas. Our secret project will also hinges on effective and safe bombers to deliver the secret payload. Good. Alright, Ottomans, I don't really care right now. We got bigger things to worry about. And we're going to need an airbase up here, too. Alright, see, look at this crap. Even with our boost, I know it's over a river, but 40 combat with infantry still can't break over the river into these enemies. With three militia divisions, a tank that we could probably pierce, and weakened infantry. Let me just look at that. Oh my god, I don't care about Yemen and the Cairo, you know, Cairo Pact right now. Don't care about it. Oh my god, come on. Come on. Are you serious? Oh, they're th finally, they, at least they had planes finally. At least somehow they said they had planes. Thank god, that took way too long. Jesus Christ. Go ahead and hold for now. We're going to come over here and we're going to cut off the rest of Wisconsin from Michigan. Well, this part of Wisconsin from this part of Michigan. Upper Michigan. 
Uper. Upa. Something like that. It is now 1939, so Happy New Year, everyone. It's, it's a pretty terrible year in America, but hey, we're looking better on guns. You're not giving up there. Nope. You know, Car, you might want not want to focus on me with this the Reds coming down trying to kill you as much as they want to do so. I don't remember attacking you there, but... Just hold for now. Just hold for now. And four divisions are attacking seven. Hmm. How many men have we lost? About half a million. Oh, the car's lost quite a few to us. CSA's not lost enough. I keep looking over here to see if we can raise any more militia divisions. Um, you know what? We'll keep going down since we have the army XP for it. You might as well. Alright, and then we'll do airfield expansion. We're failing to produce enough air power, something that can be rectified via further air force and infrastructure. Very good. Lost another convoy, that's good. How in the hell are you losing? Seriously. What the hell is... Don't tell me that the CSA isn't overpowered. I swear to God, man. I swear to God. Oh, there goes... I thought that you already capitulated. Well, time to move on in, guys. They just attack and attack and attack with all this industry that they supposedly have with no raw materials, but okay, whatever. Whatever. Well, you know what? We might be able to beat up the PSA after all. Without doing anything really over there. Force it. I don't care how many infantry soldiers have to die for this. I really do not care. And in the meantime, we'll probably need to get these 40s and throw on some anti-air. We should have enough for them, at least. That's good. Is this hills? No, this is mud, which sucks. Which really hurts our attack, but still. We should have attacked up there, but, you know, whatever. Syndicalist bombings, alright. Call of emergency reserves. Kingdom of Serbia's gone. Even when attacking, you still can't win. How oh, great. How, how just lovely that is. That is just so lovely. Alright, so now we're reaching PSA territory, so we want to stop attacking so much. Yeah, you guys, just hold for now. Just hold. You'll be alright. Uh, yeah, well, as much as I want Las Vegas, you just, just kind of hang out for now. You guys are doing okay over there. Is this literally its own tile? No? Hmm. 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 Split them into two then. That's good. Jefferson City. Nope. 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 No, thank you. I don't think I've gone that far into uh, Missouri to actually go to Jefferson City before. Just in case, I'm going to put you guys... I'm going to spread you guys around, actually, around, just so that you can defend. So they're attacking over a river, and they can still win. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Uh, radar development. Radar of the top secret technology to detect air movement will allow our sky watches to rest easy at night. All right, very good. Still supply issues. We should research maybe some better uh, supply things. Probably logistics too for the next thing. Uh, should we take that? Yes, please. And come on, come on. Oh, nope. All right. There you go. Cool. Mm. Oh, another one of those is very good. Throw them over on the PSA side, which are, they're going to need that. And. I want to throw over here, but realistically, I'm going to send maybe one division over here. Just help the different parts of the line that there are. Hey, look. They're attacking again and again and again. Oh, well. Wow. They're definitely getting a lot more guns. Another comment, though. Let's see. Do Cuba in the United States mod? Maybe eventually. We'll see. I'm not really sure when we can do that, but eventually, maybe. So, we'll see. Um... Okay. 
Can you guys help out up here as well, baby? No, oh yeah, that's too far. That's too far. Another one. I don't mind doing that, but the supply is not very good, so I'm going to throw you guys right here instead. Come on. They're literally just militia and a few marines. How, how thick are their marine divisions? Not that thick. They're probably like 12 combat width. Mm. I really don't care that we, we left this position either, so... Goal is to get here or here, so. Force them to die, so we want to cut these guys off and cut off Michigan. That'll be good. My bad. I can't want it out of my room, and it is what it is. Alright, so. Hold, oh, don't. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? Send ooh crew. You might be able to make it there and send half you guys over there, which should, should get them off. But somehow they're probably going to find supplies anyways. All right, not bad. The radar to villains good, and we'll do some naval bomber, paratroopers, uh, do air to ground combat coordination exercises. In order to become or to come out into the battlefield with an effective cast air force, we need to develop and practice the basis of this relatively new concept of warfare. Which is good. Don't worry about attacking guys. I'm not concerned about that at all. <clears throat> yeah, finding the mountains. Definitely not worthwhile right now. How? How? I'll go with the rest of the sulfur when we can. That'd be good. Yeah, I don't want to do any of this stuff yet. Mm -hmm. Synthetic refiners are fine in all, but still. Hey, right, there you go. We it says we cut them off, but realistically, they're still going to get, be able to get supplies somehow, some way, because. Somehow. Somehow. But overall, not too bad. Not sure why they're attacking there, but whatever. I'm, I'm literally just waiting to see if they're going to be out of supply. This division looks like it has some sort of attrition. Are you actually going to be out of supply instead of, like, you know, finding random supply throughout the entire, like, lake or something? Because that happened last time. That literally happened last time. Are you actually going to lose supply? Are you going to starve here? No, you're not going to starve. I'm going to kill you anyways. Good. Kill every single one of these pieces of garbage off. They deserve nothing but death here. Uh, we could make a break through northern Michigan, maybe. Oh, the car's still attacking us, huh? Bunch of crazies. Why can't we make any more militia divisions? Hmm. Uh, I'll send you guys down here. That should be good enough. I don't even care down this area. Uh, yeah, let's go up to Michigan, maybe. We're gonna go for Detroit, maybe. Or you can go right there. Yeah, but supply is pretty bad in Wisconsin. Hmm. But well, let's do this one. Close air support model development. The Army's request for more ground support while traversing the trenches of our enemies has, has erected. As an equal partner of the Air Force, approves this request. Not bad. All right, let's go in. I'm going to go straight on in. I don't care what happens. You're going to kill every single red you find and kill them all off. Every single last one of them. PSA? No one cares about the PSA. How many men have we lost to the PSA? Uh, we've got 185,000 of them. We've lost 134,000, so... Eh, it's not that bad. Take Detroit. Now this is probably a bad idea, but we're going to try it anyways. Because it's a good little defensive line to have. These guys are weak. They're not very strong. They like to send to close government. Still don't have enough planes. Do we have any bombers, maybe? Or just sort of New Mexico. That's good. Doing the Great Lakes. Very good, very good. Smash every single division you find. That's way they have to scare some divisions off.
Second Melbourne Uprising. <clears throat> Come on, take Lansing. And then we can go to Detroit. And then we might want to circle around to get to Chicago, maybe. Dispersed industry is good. Get more construction speed and maybe some artillery after this, too. All right, at this point, you guys can hit it over there. That would be fine. This should really weaken them. Like, opening up basically another whole front here is not bad. All right, let's do this one. Let's concentrate it like this. Uh, yeah, that would be good enough. All right, not bad. More infantry attack. That would be good. And <clears throat> once we make some more divisions, I'm actually going to start attacking here, too. Close air support. Good. And flexible bomber development. Since your air force has the task of supporting the army, the bombers of our force will have to adapt to a variety of roles, both as close air support as well as disrupting enemy supplies and communications in the rear during a battle. And we should encourage the development of further planes that may fulfill these roles. Very good. Yeah. Just keep attacking. See what happens. You pieces of garbage. Yeah, I'm not going to attack the car. The car is not that difficult to take out. Don't worry about attacking, guys. Do not worry about it. Just make sure you got enough divisions, to place where you need to go. Actually, what's the supply like? We need more guns. Artillery is still looking very good. In this point, I'm going to start switching out some divisions. Uh, I prefer this side, maybe. I, I don't know which divisions we're going to lose eventually, because we will lose some divisions. That's why I'm kind of hesitant making some of these. We're switching these guys around, so... Uh, where are you guys at? Yeah, I'll switch some of you guys out. Some of you guys like this. 40s. That's fine. <clears throat> well, if you want to attack... All right. Logistics 2 is very good for us. Let's grab some more artillery, maybe? I want more artillery. That'd be kind of nice. Anti-air is looking okay. Artillery is looking okay. Guns not looking great. Courtney Hex, hope you're learning a whole bunch here. It's kind of injured, which is not good. Oh, I mean, my goodness. Jesus Christ. Seriously. Uh, are these guys out of manpower yet? The Rebel Girl. Centralist Organization. Uh, they're the Feds one. Yeah, I don't remember ever them having this against us, though. So, but they might, might, they might, might have had it, but whatever. Still a million manpower, huh? Oh, good. Alright, so you guys go right... Here. Now it's going to about that line so much. And now it's time for another one of these. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh, long. But I gotta go with uh polar just Hold on, polar. Is that the was he a marine was that the marine in real life? I've heard stories about him. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna beat these guys up over here. He's a chesty polar, I think, or something like that. Syndicalist front. Yeah, just keep trying it, Cyniclists. Oh, look. I do something. Oh! Someone got, either got encircled or something happened down there. Orders are in Arizona. Very good. We love Arizona. How are we finding this much success on the west side of the country versus everything else? Hmm. Since we got the Army XP, we'll also keep doing that. Flexible bomber designs. Combined arms defenses. When our air officers stand at the ready, an issue has arisen once more that impedes the progress of our Air Force. Army officers don't exactly know how to exploit our air power to its fullest potential. As such, we have to teach them to coordinate both their infantry and mechanized vehicles with their planes in order to create an unstoppable offensive. Not bad. Pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. That's not correct English, but whatever. Wow, are these guys... Hmm. There you go. Sure, we'll take that. Thank you. How much manpower do you guys have? Give me your poor, which is nice and all, but... No, they have enough manpower. Uh, Carol? Are you, oh, he's probably learning a lot, hopefully. <clears throat> We've got those three divisions here. So three versus three. And they are on a hill. Not a mountain, but a hill, which is good to know. Do we have any more planes yet? Probably not. Nope, we're out of planes. Oh, without 40 combo with infantry, can you really bust through here? Probably not. Federal's bombings, which kind of sucks. But they're slowly losing manpower, hopefully. Fighters are gone. Artillery, that's, that's getting lower. Not good, not good. Support equipment's still looking pretty good, though. Where is support equipment? Yeah, that's still looking. We only have one thing on them, huh? 
Oh, there goes Middle Africa. Poor Middle Africa. Nice. Force it. Force them to die. These guys cannot be 40 combo with. Yeah, they're just like normal, probably 20 combo with infantry. So that's a very good position to defend. So we'll defend from there and kind of hold for a while. I'll have to keep all this peepee -pee for a while, too. That'd be kind of nice. Good position to hold. Hold, hold, hold. Screaming Eagle uh, program. With ever growing presence over Air Force and ever growing needs of the battlefield, a question has arisen between our Army and Air Force officers. Could it be possible to combine the two to transport troops beyond the battlefield in a manner that may change the face of the battle? In order to prove or, or disprove this theory, we'll shall experiment. We shall experiment with what we shall do with fair troopers. Very cool. Uh, I can put, do a police crackdown, but uh, I think it's just best to wait. It's just pretty much best to wait. There's nothing here that's really special. Mechanized, armored cars, we're not using any of this stuff. Uh, you know what, we'll do that one for now. Since we have enough PP, we might as well do that one, right? Oh, you're still losing here, huh? That sucks. It's alright, though. I'd love to attack, but maybe we can attack somewhere that's... Well, not a lot of good areas to attack here. In the meantime, I don't, I just don't know which divisions we're going to have it here. And I don't want to, like, convert divisions over that's just going to be, you know, kind of not used and just stolen away from us. Cancel the lease. I guess I we can make cast. Just do it later on. That's fine. Um, all right. Well, whatever. That's why I'm not bothering with that side at all. Wow. Yeah, just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. Do they have it against... Yep, they have it against us now. I'll just ultimate... Oh, it is 39. Oh, okay. Well, you want to do that against us? We'll do this against you too. So you get no buff. You guys are not allowed to lose. Get one division over there. Get one division over there. Screw the reds. I'm going to look at that. Look at how many dead Americans lie here because of these stupid Reds and the Nationalists and the PSA and the USA. <laughs> Not the Western Command Center, though. Not too much. Mm. Oh, there goes an Entente. Very nice. Claim Europe. How is the Empire? Well, not looking too good right now, I'd say, but it is what it is. Another, what was it? 30,000 soldiers have died because of the Reds. Good. And naval bomber development. With well, the shortcomings of our navy for protecting our shores, the Air Force has a duty to also protect the shores of our nation for whatever cost against enemy who dare set foot in our homeland. As such, we will seek to complement the navy's patrols with naval bombers scouting and intercepting any vessels whenever our fleet is too spread out or far too away to do so. Cool. I'm going to keep building some civvies too. Civvies and military factories for now. You know, they attack when we're defending mountains and places like this, but we can't. Win sometimes, and yeah, they win sometimes. Man, not cool. How, how's the resistance stuff doing actually? Fight for America, disorganized clan resistance, black uh, legion terrorism. Oh, the plan's not too bad so far. What the heck is this? What's happening down here? Convoys go bye bye. All right. Oh, sure, we'll take some stuff. Sure, why not? Thank you, guys, very much. Are you done killing yourselves on the line yet? Because you, you killed off a lot of Americans. Holy crap. I mean, they're just killing off tons and tons and tons of Americans. But hey, you know what? It is what it is, I guess. Even though I don't like this at all. I don't think we can win here, actually, but... Mm, Dixie Division. How much artillery do we have? Still 470. We're doing okay, though, on infantry equipment. We could maybe use a few more things of motorized, actually. So maybe go with two, maybe... And I'll throw you guys over here, too. That'll be good. Since the PSA does like to attack quite often. But at least we can reach California. Every time I look at this specific site here, I always get reminded of the Colorado River and Old World Blues and, you know, New Vegas and stuff. Oh, my goodness. I'm kind of surprised we don't have a... a, a uh, I guess, then again, I guess I'm not with the Rocky Mountain Ceasefire. Oh, you guys are getting, getting attacked. Well... 
I don't think we can win over there, really. I don't like seeing this, so we could try and attack here, maybe. Not getting you guys up. Support it. Getting attacked on all those sides should have some sort of effect, right? Maybe not. Sequence bombings. Um, yeah, I'm going to move those guys around then. The feds are not doing too bad, though. They're really not doing too bad. Hey, we actually got it. For now, until someone else shows up. Hmm. What are we going to do? You guys, hopefully, you don't die there. I'm going to push right here. Push them back over the river. Another convoy sunk. Very good. I'm not making any more ships, which kind of sucks, but I combined the both of these once again. Uh, let's see. Oh, they're attacking us once again. Thank you very much for your service. And extraction's okay. Guns, yeah, we can do that, but I'm not going to do that for now. Let's maybe get some better engineers. Do we have engineers on our soldiers? I can't remember. Most you don't. Resistance, armored stuff, blah, blah, blah. 40s. Yeah, you guys have some of that stuff. Uh, we have enough support equipment anyway, so I'll have to do that one. Naval bomber development. And American... Oh, we do have engineers on those guys. Not bad. If we do that, we still have enough. So, more recon, shall we? We shall. All right, so we're done with the Air Force stuff. Nice. Uh, we'll get to this... Uh, Focus you pretty quickly with the American Navy. Only a few ships, and even fewer sailors, remain loyal to the American people. We need to take stock of our maritime situation. Good, 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 good. Uh, you guys are done over there, and you guys are holding out pretty darn well, so we're going to throw you guys over here now. Alright, new naval... Yeah, I mean, yeah, they have access to the sea and stuff, but... Not not a huge access, but they have enough access. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're just slaughtering so many millions of Americans. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay, I guess. Uh, are you guys leaving? Well, let's get the militia division out there first. And then, let's go ahead. Let's go in. Alright, Chesty Puller. Head on in. If there's enough time, maybe we could go over there too, maybe? Maybe, 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 maybe not. You guys are going to go with Chesty. This is going to be the real American army we're going to use after the war is done. Good. Nope. Uh, they have divisions over there. That sucks. Whatever. Alright, sure. We'll take stuff. Wow. They really like this area. They don't like Kentucky. They're trying to surround St. Louis, which is not a bad idea for them, but, you know, still. And to air. And we shall do what next? Mm, it is as old as 1940. Let's go and start doing a radar. Let's do some radar. Cool. And we have four divisions here. So where are we going to attack next? We might be able to attack here. Ooh. Ah. Uh, this is where we want to attack next. Right here. Get it over to this river. Alright. Three more divisions. Ooh. We're going to need another army. Hmm. I'm going to put you on the line here first. Now the general, and we'll go with Long, because we can. Federalist Bombins. Another two divisions. Jesse Polar, thank you. They're still attacking. We're approaching one and a half million dead. Oh, the car is still attacking too, don't get me wrong. But they're not as much of a menace as the CSA. Definitely not as much of a menace. Alright, and just go in, and you should be able to do this. You really should. How are we struggling against two militia divisions? With green air. With green air. How are we struggling? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, hello. Wait, is this? Is St. Louis open? Uh, keep these guys in place, guys. Go, 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 go. Take St. Louis. I've never actually walked in St. Louis before. Oh, they're trying to stop us. No, no, no. Go. Oh, nope. I don't care. We're going in. We're going straight in after this. You guys headed this way. St. Louis will be ours. Yay. Good job. Oh, we actually overran them. Good job, guys. Great job. All right. So at this point, we're going to do this. Thank you. I'm going to cut you guys down a little bit and share the wealth. Good enough. Good enough. I apologize that this is taking so long to do, but... It is what it is. What are we going to attack here, actually? There you go. I'm still taking Detroit. I don't care what happens. 
I really don't. I man, I know this is not a Kaiser I Kaiser Redux thing, but they really need to fix these front lines, especially with the lakes here. It's so not bueno. Hmm. Actually, instead of that. Hmm. Let them let them go up there. Let them go up there. Uh, no, hold, 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 hold for now. What we're going to do is come right here and kill up more reds. How do we have 51? What are they attacking with? Like, tanks? So, they're attacking with six divisions over a river, and yet we're barely able to defend against them. I swear to God, man. This doesn't make any sense, especially when we have air, superi when we have air superiority. Man, come on. That don't make sense. Especially when they, they already lost the like, push against, you know... The longest, but Great White Fleet. I never remember which one of these naval doctrines we need to do. We have carriers. We're going to focus on carriers, so base strike it is for us. Base strike. Carrier fleet projection. Carriers are the wave of the future. We should invest in their research and construction to better project naval power, which is a great thing. Love naval power. Ah, oh, there we go. I was wondering when we're getting another one of these. Thank you very much. Seriously, how are they winning? Do they have it again, maybe? Do they really have it again? I mean, yeah, they have centralist organization. Which is ridiculously strong, but not too ridiculously strong. But honestly, don't tell me that that we're too weak. Because this makes literally no sense. How are we, like, barely winning here against a bunch of militia and Brazilian volunteers? Doesn't make any sense. Defending over river? Not, not completely. But for the most part... All right, whatever. No, oh, PSA. Um, yeah, this is kind of just an afterthought in my mind. The PSA. I'm sorry, PSA. I need somebody to play as a PSA someday. But no upgrades, huh? That sucks. Wow, look at just look at they're just monsters, just killing off their own men like crazy. And sometimes I do that too, but still, come on, crazies. All right, down to burn Detroit to the ground. You, me, burning Detroit. What could be better than that? Well, Detroit. Good. Kill them off. Uh, if you want to move, you guys can move up there with support from the 40s. Courtney was uh, poor, you know, forced to hold on for a while, but that's all right. And we'll go with infiltration assault, less supply consumption for now. Good. Good, good, good. All right, Courtney, looks like it's time for us to move. Let's get going. No peace with the Reds. Absolutely no peace. We had peace earlier. And that was a bad idea. They're still attacking. Man, I can't wait to find Big Bill Haywood. He is going to hang. Hmm. We love Michigan. Alright, we've breached down Indiana already. And Michigan is fully liberated. Man, they just keep... How's the card doing? William Murrah. They still have some manpower left. Uh, sock power wise we can't really see what they're up to. Radio detection. Happy 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's go do that. You guys are still hanging out. Not bad. You guys should be able to win here. Should, 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 should is a keyword. Uh, get enough arty, enough guns, enough anti-air for now. Actually, what if we threw on for our normal infantry divisions here? Some of this. We would be out, but that's okay. Oh, we broke through. Holy crap, we probably won't be able to hold this. Um, we're going in. We're going in, boys. I'm, I'm not going to wait any longer for this stuff. I would love to be able to do more on this front, but you know what? Get some nationalists. Here we go. This is it. I don't care what happens. Hey, we can circle the guys up here. Look at this. Nice. You gotta hold Indianapolis, son. You gotta hold, hold, hold. They have to be completely out of equipment by now. Oh, they have less than 100,000 manpower. Yeah, we might need to call up emergency reserves, but actually, we can just. Oh, what does that actually do for us? Oh, Indiana? Sure, we'll do. And then Southern Indiana. South, we have Southern Ohio? Oh, we're about to cut them off over here. Nice. Uh, but naval aviation. Let's do light cruiser development. Light cruisers are important in anti-air operations as well as attacking enemy destroyers and submarines. We should ensure our Navy has a handful of these in order to stay balanced. Very good. 
Michigan. We love Michigan. Yes. Oh, come on. We can cut him off. Oh, we're about to lose this group. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Just don't get cut off. Oh, take Chicago. Burn Chicago. We, we took Chicago. 1940, February. Yeah, the Reds are done. Where's the capital? We saw St. Louis. Uh, is it Philadelphia? Um, Pittsburgh? Engineers are nice. Let's grab some of this. More defense. Another division. Thank you. Are we actually pushing against the car? We're, we're slowly trying to. Nothing else we can do about that for now. That's fine. Oh, we lost Chicago. Seriously, where's the capital after Chicago? Oh, crap. We're going to buy again Circle 2. That's not good. But seriously, like, how do... Kill all their manpower. Please just kill them off. Force the attack. Force it, force it, force it. Hello. All right, Indiana. And then we'll do uh, Illinois. Yes, please, Illinois. Hey, took, took these guys back. Good. Good, 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 good. At this point, I don't know how the CSA is still able to keep this up. Like, we've taken Chicago. We've taken uh, all of Michigan. Yeah, they still have rural, you know, Illinois, but still. Like, oh, see, Philadelphia is now the capital. That's fine. These guys are in circle, which is good. Which is very, 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 very good. You're, you still can't win when we have air superiority. Go figure. Go flip and figure. Yeah, we're definitely going to raise the construction level. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to go search bar equipment anyways. All right. More of this, please. Thank you. And right there. Good. Oh, these guys have been completely cut off. Yeah, they, they should be done. They really should be done by now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Divisions suck. Well, a good chunk of Ohio has been liberated. We pushed in into, oh, not all of Arkansas, but a good chunk of Arkansas. All right, not bad. Screw these guys. Even with their superiority, we still can't win somehow, some, or that quickly at all. Doesn't make any sense. All right, there goes those guys. That's good. Screw the Reds, man. How are you guys still alive? <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense, but they're out of equipment like us, probably. I'm not stopping the attacks, though. At least not for a while. Maybe except for Corny, because he's done a really good job. He's killed off a lot of our own soldiers, though, which is not good. We lost nearly a million, but you know what? With all the enemy casualties, I think we're doing pretty darn well. How's the PSA doing? We're just kind of hanging out. All right, not bad. Uh, with you three, go over there again. All right, that's almost done. Cyniclus bombings or destroy Missouri. Great, great. Look at that, beautiful. Now we can stop attacking. Now we can have a full normal front line. It's not over yet, though. It's definitely not over yet. Hold and hold. Hmm. We're going to push here. And I'm going to... I thought I got... Come on. I'm going to send in all the 40s. We're going to take Kentucky by the end... Within like five minutes, hopefully. All right, just hold for now. And Okay, guys. Please, seriously, just, just hold. Stop attacking. Columbus won't be ours yet. That's totally, totally okay. Totally okay. Cut down a little bit more. And now we're going to throw in... Do we have enough artillery? Oh, we definitely don't have enough for that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. And yes, we'll take some volunteers. Battle crew research. Let's do some avi naval aviation. Naval aviation is a future of warfare on the high seas. We should ensure that our air designs are capable of being launched from carriers and destroying the enemy fleet without even endangering our own. Go ahead, more divisions from southern Illinois. Call up emergency reserves. Go ahead and do that. Yes, please. How are you not dead yet? Kill these stupid reds. Hey, look at Arkansas, though. Now that's nice. Oh, the PSA is attacking us. Well, that's not good. No. No, I don't care right now. Sorry, I don't really care. The Devers front. 
We're not really paying attention to him too much. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right. This is disgusting. All right. There you go. Should be able to win and hopefully do that over there. That'd be good. All right, boys. You ready to go in? Not quite. The goal is Louisville. Let's go, boys. We actually aren't fighting completely over a river, which is kind of nice, too. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Taking back Kentucky. And Wisconsin. Yay, we love Wisconsin. And... Ooh, there you go. They're still trying to come out here. Coming out of the woodworks. Alright, so at this point... Oh, did we lose something? Oh, we suck a destroyer. Nice. Very good job, guys. Good job. Well, I'm going to actually send more divisions to the PSA side. Oh, wait. Mexico's at war with us? Since when? What? What? Alright, that's not really not good. Um... Hmm. All right, you're going to have to hold. Why did Mexico go to war with us? What the heck? Well, 40 combat soldiers, you got a new use. Ooh, that is really not good. That is really not good. What? When did they come to war with us? Why are we fighting them? Are we fighting the Third International or something? Well, listen, we went to war with those guys, too. Screw Mexico. Go, 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 in, 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 when you can. Why, Mexico, why? Well, they're going to be our puppet for a while, then. We can't win in Louisville, that's fine. I'm glad I made these 40 combo wits. Woof! All right, so with you guys, pushing against the Nationalists, that's fine. Um, I'm going to still put you guys over here, though. As long as Canada doesn't go to war this as well. And we'll do Southern Ohio. Losses 1.06 versus not enough reds. 1.2 million car soldiers. I don't know how they're going to keep this up with no manpower. Legacy of Jackson. That is a legacy of Jackson. That's really cool. Not that much manpower. You guys have barely any. The feds barely have barely any. The PSA should have almost none. Wow. They're all scraping the barrel. Holy crap. That's pretty bad. Can you actually? Can you guys actually win down here? I mean, obviously we're not going to look great down here, but... Screw the Mexicans. Jesus Christ. What the heck did we ever do to you? Um, at this point... Yeah, we're going to need to do this. You say you can win, but I'm a little apprehensive to do so. There you go. <sighs> I'm going to burn Mexico down to the ground, too. Oh, look at that. Cincinnati? Oh, we have Cincinnati. I didn't, know, I didn't realize that. Good. Man, they just love attacking, don't they? Sure, we'll take some stuff. Sure. Naval aviation, not bad. And then we'll do some new admirals. Many admirals deserted to the traitors to the east. We should train a new generation of naval leaders to ensure continued maritime dominance. Good. Let's do them, and then we'll do some Minnesota. Yeah, Austria. We love Austria. Oh, they said no. Okay. Hmm. I don't. I really don't like this. Is it possible for us to take this? Probably not. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. So, when is the Black Belt Revolt? 44,000. Still finding more manpower for them somehow. Let's see. 1940. I almost get this one done too. Why not? Excuse me. Thank you. Alright, there you go. Head on over there. And we'll do Northern Arkansas. Which isn't much, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be too much. Yeah, attacking Louisville is kind of a bad idea right now, guys. Uh, it's probably better to focus on these guys down here. Yeah, seriously. We need these divisions now, so go high. Go high for those guys. Yeah, we're just we're lacking a lot of things. I mean, this is kind of dumb that they're still alive somehow. Did you actually push us out, you piece of the garbage? 
Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could try this. It's probably not going to go that well, though. Small coordinated attacks, I suppose. And we want to pull these bombers back over. That's good. There we go. Cast. Oh, not that many planes. Nope, not at all. Syria's gone. Goodbye, Syria. Yeah, throw you guys over there on that faction front. Still lacking so many things. We should have soon enough. I really want to attack, but there's no point in attacking into these mountains. Eh, there's, oh, they're still getting more manpower. Oh, they're all screaming the barrel too. These guys are... Hmm. That's fine. That's nice. Yeah, fighting over the rivers here is going to be a bad idea when they're fully entrenched and stuff, so we're not going to attack yet. We're just going to go and hang out, follow... Oh, boy. Oh, that's not good. That was the Valkyrie going. So we're, we're pretty much at a standstill right now. Uh, da -da -da -ba -ba. Like I said, I wanted to win this, beat the Reds by the end of this episode, but with Mexico, we could have done it by, if Mexico wasn't attacking us. This is so stupid. Why is Mexico attacking all of a sudden? If anything, they should have attacked like as soon as the war started. Man, I, I really don't like that. We need some radar over here, too. Keep building up, building up, building up, building up, 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 up. North Dakota, I think North Dakota actually has some fuel, too. Uh, please crack down, maybe? Oh, we can do that one. Solidify control. I don't know about that one. New Admirals, but, you know, I think we'll end it here. Uh, I'll read a few more folks so we can do some more off-screen, just because I think we need to, but... Man, without Mexico attacking us, we would have... We, we could have actually probably even won the Civil War. Ah, <sighs> Mexico why? But expand the waves. Women can serve aux many auxiliary roles in the Navy, freeing up men for combat duty. While it might be socially controversial, it will significantly help the war effort, in which we shall also do expand the dockyards. A dockyard is somewhat inadequate to fight a war on their own. We need to ensure that our new naval production facilities are often constructed to support the war effort, as well as submarine development. Subs will also wreak havoc on enemy shipping and heavy ships. We should ensure that our designs stay up to date against enemy destroyers and anti-sub tactics and livery ships. Our shipyards, previously dedicated to commercial shipping, can easily be converted to mass produce massive numbers of convoys to supply our allies around the world and maritime industry. Our maritime traditions mar remain strong. We can leverage a commercial shipping industry to help our struggling democracy survive as well as expand the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps was the epitome of American power projecting around the globe. From the shores of Tripoli to the halls of Moctezuma, the Marines were always there. We should ensure they have modern equipment and training as well as ooh, naval training... Urban warfare development. I kind of like that when all the developments get uh, urban stuff, so. We need to enlarge the Marine Corps and ensure that they're able to project our power around the globe, as well as Semper Fi. Semper Fi means always loyal. The Marine Corps will always be a bastion of American liberty and democracy and help spread these freedoms around the world, as well as America rules the waves. Following our extensive investments in naval research and construction, we've regained our place as one of the world's most leading naval powers. Anchors away, and a few last comments that I forgot to get to earlier. Uh, someone recommends we should have taken some more leftists with us in this conflict. We could have. Uh, I'm not really sure, but we could have, I suppose. I'm just worried about not be, being able to get down to a spe the specific route that my Discord server recommended with the new gunpowder plot. So I recommend we go ch Jacobite USA. Someone said, is a Dorothy Day path still available with Christian socialism and Christian was it anarchism and social activism or something like that? I'm pretty sure it's available in Kaiser Redux. And we should try out authoritarian Canada sometime. Maybe we will, but we'll see what happens. Regardless, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will win the Civil War. Uh, once and for all. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.